Hello fellows and welcome to my video where I will show you how to connect Behringer X-Touch and Behringer X-Touch Extender with Reaper. So as you can see I already have my Reaper opened and here you can see the faders in Reaper and if we want these faders to be controlled by control unit we have to of course add the unit to Reaper so how do we do it we will go to options and preferences we will scroll down to control OSC web and we will press it but one more thing please don't try to go to MIDI devices and edit because you will not be able to add the controller here as I said, you must go uh, right to the bottom and add it through control O S C button. And now it is empty because I have no controller added. So I have to add it via the add button. If you open the drop down, you will see that there are already some devices and maybe if you have device from the list you can just click it but ours is not in the list so i will add it by Mackie control universal because i know that behringer is using Mackie protocol for controlling the DAO so i will choose this item from from uh, from the list it's Mackie Control Universal. For MIDI input, I will choose X Touch Unit. For MIDI output, I will use also X Touch Unit. Everything here I leave as is. So zero means that it starts with zero because we want also to to be our last fader, main fader, and the rest eight faders should control uh channel strips from one to eight so i just leave everything as is if i want my f1 to f8 buttons on behringer x touch to go to markers i just take that uh, that field okay and i press okay at this point your controller your main unit should be recognized by reaper and you should see the faders moving so this is it if i have just the main unit but what if i have the x touch extender and if i want also to add this one it's simple i will go to add button and this time i will choose Mackie control extender because of course i want the unit which I want to add is extender. So I choose this field. MIDI input is my X touch extender. MIDI output is my X touch extender. And watch out now. Here is a little change. Surface offset, number of tracks. How many tracks do we have? We have eight tracks. So I will put number eight in here and I will press okay. And I should see my faders moving and for the end i press ok and now everything is confirmed i will just check it i am moving my behringer faders exactly everything works just as it should and uh, yes thank you for watching my video i hope it was helpful and please subscribe and follow me for more upcoming videos. Thank you.